Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Programele noastre oferă multe limbi. Vă puteți uita pe suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. This breakfast bowl is packed with nutrients, and not only does it help athletes excel in their performance, but it also keeps non-athletes fit and active. It's so delicious, you will want to eat it every day. Athletes' plant-based whole foods diet, from nutrition professor Tamari Hagenberger, vegan, part two of two, pumpkin-powered oatmeal breakfast bowl. Stay with us to find out more. People have to make their choices in life. And so I say for me, it feels good to not eat meat. I think that you have to do what's going to be healthy for your body. Stevie Wonder, vegan. When meeting someone in Fiji, you could say bula. It means hello in Fijian. I am Ruluni. The warm and easygoing people from the paradise of the Pacific Islands of Fiji embrace their simple and earth-loving lifestyle and are grateful to God for their blessings. May you find your paradise through your connection with God. Welcome to our show, Athletes' Plant-Based Whole Foods Diet from nutrition professor Timory Hagenberger, vegan, part two of two, pumpkin-powered oatmeal breakfast bowl. In her previous show, Professor Timory Hagenberger peaking with plant-based sports nutrition on Supreme Master Television. She showed us how a plant-based whole food diet helps athletes to achieve optimal health. You can find this three-part show by going to suprememastertv.com and using Professor Timory Hagenberger as a keyword to do a quick search. She is an American registered dietitian nutritionist with a master's degree in public health, a nutrition professor at Cosumnes River College in Sacramento, California, as well as a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. Professor Hagenberger published her vegan cookbook, The Foodie Bar Way, to inspire people to prepare simple, delicious and nutritious vegan meals through marvellous methods. It is tailored for people who are short of time, money and experience in cooking by providing plenty of options to accommodate their needs and keep even the pickiest of eaters looking forward to their next meal. In part one of this show, Professor Timory Hagenberger has shown us how to make the splendid, nutrition-loaded and yummy plant-based collard-powered Buddha bowl. Today she will show us another dish. Let's enjoy! Now we're going to make a pumpkin-powered breakfast bowl, but it can be enjoyed any time of the day or evening. Now, Color is key. As we said, there are phytonutrients in the plant pigments, the color that makes this beautiful apple red, this gorgeous pear red. We want the most vibrant colors possible. So we're gonna use all kinds of colors in this recipe. And I'm gonna start by chopping up some apples and some pear. We never want to peel the apple. The peel has so many phytonutrients in it. We've actually seen research that shows that the important plant nutrients in the peel of apples can actually shut cancer cell growth right down. This is a large apple. We'll do half of it. Beautiful apple. Now this is a gorgeous red pear. 
This is a little on the unripe side. You can tell by how crunchy it is. I like crunchy pears. Okay, we're ready to make the oatmeal. I have a whole bunch of ingredients. This is a quick cooking oats that have been pre-steamed, so they'll take about seven minutes, but normally steel cut oats take about 30 minutes. I'm using a plant-based soy milk because that will give us an excellent amount of phytonutrients that will protect our cells, as well as protein and carbohydrate and fat to fuel our workouts. I am a huge fan of carrots. So we're gonna add carrots to this oatmeal. Carrots are actually one vegetable that gets healthier when you cook it because it becomes more available, the nutrients to our body. So if you're making a soup with carrot, it's actually healthier than eating raw carrots. So I love both. And that's how so many fruits and vegetables are, that you get some nutrients when you eat them raw and some more in different ways when you eat them cooked. So we're gonna bring this to a boil and start cooking this. Now you can also do this as overnight without cooking it at all. Now this pumpkin is going to be adding vitamin A and more wonderful carbohydrates to our breakfast bowl. And I like to cook it with some of the apple and pear so that I have a mixture of textures. I don't add all of it. Now, I also wanna add something that may surprise you, and that is white beans. So white beans are gonna be crazy high in so many nutrients, including protein, but also potassium and magnesium and other important minerals and vitamins for our body. So I'm gonna add white beans, and it's already starting to come to a boil. Now cranberries are one of the most cancer-fighting fruits on the planet. These are just cranberries that are frozen. When you buy them during certain times of the year that they're available, just put them right into the freezer. They are tart. Normally you see cranberries dried, but they're always dried with sugar and often with oil. And we don't need that. We just want the whole cranberry. So that will cook nicely for us. And then spices in my cookbook, The Foodie Bar Way, and on my website, thenutritionprofessor.com, I have a chai spice blend. Chai has become very popular in the past decade or so because of the cardamom and all the different flavor profiles. Spices can be the most antioxidant rich, powerful um, vehicles for protecting our cells in every bite. So I'm gonna add some of that chai spice blend. I like adding a lot because it's a wonderful spice. I'm gonna turn this down as it's boiling away. Let that keep going. And then I also wanna add some chia. So chia gives us the wonderful omega-3 fatty acids as well as more protein. When we add chia seeds to something that's hot, we wanna make sure we're mixing it. Otherwise, it can get pretty, um, it can kinda of clump. So I wanna just add a little at a time and stir. And they have a thickening principle as well. They actually absorb eight times their weight in fluid. So I've got the chia in there, and then 
I'm gonna add a little extra ginger. Ginger, again, is very anti-inflammatory and ginger just goes so well with pumpkin and carrot and um, apple and pear and cranberry, well, all the flavors that we have. You can also use fresh ginger as well, but dried ginger has different impact on our body. We're getting different nutrients in different forms. So you always wanna use a variety. Variety is key. Vegan, making worthy history. Beautiful viewers. We are going to check out some vegan athletes online and see how they are doing. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Hello, welcome back to our show, Athletes Plant-Based Whole Foods Diet from nutrition professor to Marie Hagenberger, vegan. Part two of two, pumpkin powered oatmeal breakfast bowl. Speaking of variety, this recipe is gonna feed our microbiome and the good healthy microbiome, the best predictor of that is the number of different fruits and vegetables that your body gets every week and whole grains and nuts and seeds. As soon as the texture is where we want it, is soft enough, we're ready to eat it. So I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes. This is the perfect texture of the oatmeal. So we've seen that it has hydrated itself. The beans have just cooked right in. Nobody's gonna even know. The carrots are there. The apple and the pear are perfectly soft. And the cranberries are excellent. So now we're ready to plate. And the other things that I want to mention will include flaxseed. Flaxseed, especially with breast cancer and prostate cancer prevention, very important. Excellent source of omega-3 and protein, but also it needs to be kept cold. So I keep the whole seeds in the freezer, and then every week I use a little grinder and I just grind up the amount that I keep in a jar and keep that in my fridge. And that's how I maintain the um, integrity of the special omega-3 fatty acids that need to be kept cold. So I'll add that after. I don't add it while it's cooking like I did with the chia seeds. So now let's put this together and have fun. So we have this wonderful, hearty, pumpkin powered oatmeal bowl. This was just half a cup of oatmeal made this huge serving. So we're just gonna take some of it. I have the little treat, pomegranate arils. And they're just fabulous, very high in anti-inflammatory compounds. We're gonna do some extra apples and pears for crunch. And then we're going to do some orange mint from the garden. Now, this is not just a garnish. This is actually health food. It's a green leafy vegetable. And then we're going to take some of the flax and a little amla powder. And amla is Indian gooseberries. And they are the most antioxidant rich berries on the planet. They're a little bitter, so we just want to just add a sprinkle. And then maybe a little tiny bit of my chai spice on the top. And we can add even a little more mint. This is called blackstrap molasses. And it adds sweetness, but it also is an amazing source of iron and calcium, which is important for athletes and everybody. It's strong, so we just want to add just a little on top of this pumpkin powered breakfast bowl. So here we are, no matter if we're a professional athlete or just taking care of our families and living our lives to the best of our abilities. 
It is important to remember that we can take control of our health destiny with every single bite we take by consuming foods like these that are just full of the best that nature has to offer. We can protect every one of our cells and we can truly enjoy a better quality of life. You can enjoy every single bite of this amazing food that truly loves you back and you can feel your body getting healthier. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the pumpkin powered breakfast bowl, vegan, the ingredients are one half cup of cooked canned pumpkin, one half cup of pre-steamed quick oats or steel cut oats, one cup of unsweetened soy milk, one third cup of grated carrots, one half cup of chopped apple, one half cup of chopped pear, one fourth cup of white beans, one fourth cup of cranberries, one half teaspoon of chai spice blend from the Foodie Barwick Vegan Cookbook or the nutritionprofessor.com, one tablespoon of chai seeds, one half teaspoon of ground ginger powder, one third cup of pomegranate arrows, one tablespoon of ground flax seeds, one fourth teaspoon of amla powder, one half tablespoon of black strap molasses, five mint leaves. For more information about Professor Hagenberger, vegan, and her vegan cookbook, The Foodie Bar Way, please visit foodiebars.com and thenutritionprofessor.com. Vegan, dream a grand vision. Intelligent viewers, thank you for watching our show. As testified by elite vegan athletes in different sports, a whole food, plant-based diet offers abundant health benefits, boosts performance, and helps recovery. Plant-based sports nutrition is exactly what athletes and non-athletes need, and everyone can benefit enormously from this recipe. Up next is Lord Jesus Christ's Glorious Sacrifice for Humankind, part five of six on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. Have a great day. God bless. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.